Shalom. I'd like to say, Brakfar, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. Double honor to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Blessings and salutations to the elect worldwide, preaching the gospel and spirit and truth. You know, my brothers out there preaching the highways and bowers, diligently and sincerely. For spirit and power, Yahweh, Bashim, Shai. Blessings to you, the elect. Blessings and comfort to all that is within the one third of Israel, prophets, men, women, and children. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, Native Americans, and Hispanics, you are the biblical Israelites, the descendants of the man, Jacob, our forefather. And the Lord, Yahweh, our Heavenly Father, has called you to repentance yeah, through his son, Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Jesus Christ, who's considered as a so-called black man. This is uh, the book of John, chapter 6, once again. I'm going to read for it. Once, then I'm going to elaborate on it. So, John 6, verse 37. All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out. For I come down from heaven, not to do mine own will, but the will of him that sent me. And this is the Father's will, which have sent me. By all but of all which he have given me, so like a, I should lose nothing, but should raise it up again at the last day. And this is the will of him that sent me, that everyone which seeth the Son and believe on him may have everlasting life, and I will raise him up at the last day. I'll read it again and elaborate. Verse 37, All that the Father giveth me shall come to me. So, already the Lord is speaking, it's written in red, and he's showing that this, that this uh, he's dis distinguishing, if that's, if that's how you pronounce it, it's like, if he's showing a separation between him and the Father, yeah? He's the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and him, himself, the Son, yeah? So, that cuts that doctrine of the, the father and son are uh, the same entity. No, separate entity, but they are in one accordance. Yeah. They are one in terms of, uh, like like for example, you might have a, a team, a football team, a basketball team, you know, and there's a manager. A manager, coach is above the team, but Every member of the team, even the captain of the team, even though there's different roles and different ranks, they must conform to what the manager or the coach says. Yeah, they, they call it a game plan, a game plan that all of them must follow. And one might have this role, one might have this role, one might be a defender, one might be an attacker, whatever. At the end of the day, they must conform into that game plan, which is the same role, the same mindset that they have to have. In order to to win a match, so same thing here. Heavenly Father and the Son Yahweh Shai have a, have a game plan, which the Heavenly Father has set up. Yeah, and Yahweh Shai he follows that. Yeah, so that makes them one. Yeah. And him that cometh to me will I know why he's cast out, and that's the elect. The elect are gonna come to the Lord. The Scripture says. My sheep hear my voice. Yeah. And sheep, they follow their shepherd, man, their good master. And we hope to be that of the elect. We hope to be of that, uh, the, the good sheep that follows the, the good Lord, the good shepherd. For I came down from heaven not to do mine own will. You see, he's not following his plan. So whose plan is he following? But the will of him that sent me. Yeah. Who sent the Lord? Who sent the Lord Yahweh Shai? The Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Verse 39. And this is the Father's will, not my will, not Yahweh Shai's will, not anyone's anyone else's will, but the Father's will. And this is the Father's will which he have sent me. But of all which he have given me, I should lose nothing. So the Lord, the Most High, has given a portion of people, of the elect of Israel, 
Yeah. So the only people to, that can be saved is those of the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. So the Most High has given Yahushai a selection of people, an election of people. Yeah. To to the to the Son. And he should lose nothing. But what is he gonna do to it? But should raise it up again at the last day. Now you gotta listen listen to these key words. This is the New Testament, and it said should raise it up again at the last day. What does it mean again? Again means something that is reoccurring, something that has happened before, and it's going to happen again. Who did the Lord come to save? The nation of Israel. Yeah. The nation of Israel, the, the kingdom of Israel is the one that got destroyed, the one that got scattered. The one that was in captivity and enslaved started following other gods and idols. So they're the ones that need to be ridden. They're the ones that had the, that have the covenants. They're the ones that had the laws. But they disobeyed the Lord. That's why Yahweh Shai the son had to come. To save his people from their sins. Matthew 1. Matthew 2, verse 5 and 6, to rule over his people, he should be a governor. Yeah. Raise it up again the last day. Let me get a script, huh? Scripture. This is Acts 1, verse 6. Got the disciples asking the Lord. Acts, it's like, yeah. Acts 1 and 6. And they therefore were come together. They asked of him, saying, Lord, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? I'll read it again. Acts 1 and 6. When they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, Will thou at this time, at this time, restore, restore, that means, if you're being restored, that means it was once filled, it was once completed, it once was, but got broken down, got destroyed, got wrecked, so it needs to be resurrected, regenerated, refilled, reaccomplished, restored, yeah? The nation of Israel, the kingdom of Israel. Remember the Romans. Romans all over the Jerusalem. The siege of Jerusalem. 70 AD. Yeah. Assyrian, Assyrian captivity. The, the Roman captivity. Destroyed Israel. So the apostles, the disciples are saying, will thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? Not the kingdom to the whole world. Not the kingdom to the heathens. Yeah? Not the kingdom to the, the these Edomite so-called white people. Or these so-called Chinese, Japanese people. But no. Or these Hamites, no. Or these Arabs, but the kingdom to Israel. That's what the disciples were thinking. But the Lord said, even though they asked the right question, but this is what the Lord said. And let's see if he said no. And he said unto them, It is not for you to know the times of seasons which the Father hath put in his own power. So the Lord didn't say no. He didn't say, How dare you? The kingdom is for everybody. How dare you? The, king, the kingdom is for the heathen too. This is He could have caught them and said, why are you selfish? Why are you talking about the kingdom of Israel when the Lord came to save everybody? Because it was not so. That's why the Lord didn't complain. The only complaint was is that it wasn't the time and place and season for the kingdom of Israel to be restored. Yeah? And that's what we're waiting for. The kingdom of Israel, the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of God on earth. As the Lord said in prayer, thy kingdom come. As it is in heaven, so shall it be on earth. Yeah? 
this is this is where when the book of John Yahusha said to raise it up again at the last day. So the last day in meaning is what? The latter end, the last the last last days, the returning of the Lord. So over here, this wasn't the, the, the end uh, the end of the world, so to speak. Yeah, it wasn't that time because in Matthew 24, when they ask, when is it the signs of, of your coming? When is the end of the world? And the Lord gave all the symptoms of what's going to happen towards the end of his, the, towards the end of this society. Esau, the so-called white man, the wicked rulership. He said earthquakes, pestilences, rumors of wars, basically World War Three. Yeah. Nation against nation, race riots. You know, and obviously other prophecies in the book of Revelations, like the Mark of the Beast, the RFID chip. Yeah. So they're saying, well, that at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel. And he said, it's not, it's not for you to know the times of the seasons. Yeah. It's not for you to know the date. Yeah. It's not going to be, twenty. you know, you got people, the 2012. No. You know, you, Matthew 24 says, no man knows the hour. Not even the Lord, not even the angels, but the Most High in Heaven knows. What we do know is going to be in the end times, because that's when the Lord comes back and restores uh, balance, righteousness, and puts all these heathens into subjection and lifts us up, and we can worship the Lord, uh, Yahweh Shemeshai, in perfection, righteousness, and we're going to have multiple peace and pleasures upon the earth, and all these heathens and this earth and planets in our possession to, to for joy so I'll read that again John 6 and verse 40 verse 39 and this is the Father's will which have sent me that all of which he have given me I should lose nothing but should raise it up again remember restore the kingdom again unto Israel raise it up again at the last day the end times and this is the will of him that sent me that everyone which seeth the son and believe on him which is regarding to israel may have everlasting life and i will raise him up at the last day yeah tabernacles of david the elect of israel you now the prophecies concerning israel luke 1 68 yeah with that hope you've been edified and shalom